Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, the big G-O-D, the biggest lotto. If you are keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. Let us step in and find out why we spiritually led here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? We have the world, all right? We have the world. So this is your world and your reality. So we have Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo energy with the world. We have the five of cups. Okay. And then we have a Queen of Wands. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, beloved, is there's something beautiful here that you possess. I feel like this is an ability, a gift, all right? But it's based on a certain connection that you have in your world and your reality. And it's a connection that you have with water, right? H H2O. You have a connection with water. It's something beautiful here. This is something very beautiful. It's like you see how people can listen to music the whole day, like maybe the same artist the whole day. And they feel so connected to the artist. They want to know everything about the artist. They love the artist. It's like you have a, a sort of relationship with water where you can be in it all day. You can watch water all day. You, the water sounds, you know. We have the Page of Cups and the Fool. I feel that this has everything to do with your ancestry lineage. All right? This has everything to do with your ancestry lineage. It's something that you've always possessed from birth. Your connection with water is linked to your ancestry lineage, your ancestors. That's how they connect with you through water. So whenever you're in water, you drink water, you know, the rain, it's all linked here. It's all about the connection you have to it, the water itself. So water in, in its, you know, human experience is emotions. So the fluidity of water varies because it's the fluidity of water in its element and the fluidity of water in its human form, which is emotions. So I feel that you experience a lot of emotions because you are someone that is connected deeply to water. You might be someone that feels way too, like you feel more than the average person. You feel more than the, the, the average human being. You're able to feel things in a different way, in a different manner. And this is all about the connection you have with water. It's beautiful. I feel like this is beautiful. Very, very beautiful. It's as if your connection with water makes you a very empathic human being. 
someone that has a very good heart, all right, good head on their shoulders, someone that possesses a good spirit. Because your connection with water helps you understand things on a deeper level or on a far grander design. It's like you see past what is being shown, what is being said. You see things for what they are and you see them in depth, all right? You see it in depth. So this has always been an ability, a gift, you know, that you've always had here, a capability that you've always possessed as a child and it grew into you and now you are who you are with it. So as a child, maybe you were someone that was easily, um, you, were, you were sensitive, was someone that felt really, it's like deeply about things here. And you might've thought that it might've been a curse or a downfall because people never reciprocated that same energy, but it was never that, it was a gift, it was a blessing to be able to tap into life within that regard. Because why, a lot of people live life superficially they can't, have, they can't even tap in past the 3D, all right? They can't even tap in past the 2D. It's like very two-dimensional, very three-dimensional. And you can take it to the top. You can tap into the 5D. You can really see all the layers, all right? You are not restricted to one layer of feeling. You see all the layers of the spectrum of emotions, all the layers of the spectrum, all right? You are able to understand it as well like imagine how powerful you actually are if you think about it it's like you can be your own therapist psychologist you know you can be your own shrink okay that's why people used to come to you when they want to ask advice however way you were not understood in the past it doesn't take away from the gift the ability the capability you possess when it comes to the water element Okay? You still were who you were. You just were learning how to harness it. You know, you were learning and it's, it's a journey on its own. And I feel like you've been on this journey and now you are someone big, all right? In spirit, you are big, big, big. It's like you have a capability and ability, a gift to be able to tap into life on a far deeper scale than the normal. And this can make you someone very intimidating or feared because people, they know what to anticipate. Like, man, I know already that this person will really tap me in in this way. I know that if I approach this person, I already know the things that are going to come out of their mouth. I'm going to just, uh, you know, I have to prepare myself mentally, emotionally. You know, I got to I gotta prep myself, you know, physically. I gotta, you know, it's like this is the energy that people possess. I feel that you connect with people on a level that you don't even understand as of yet. All right? As much as you've always been in this energy, God is saying you don't understand how deeply you are able to connect with people for real, for real. It's not just what they show you. It's what they feel for you and what you enable in them to feel. It's you that possesses that ability, capability, and gift. All right? So God is saying this is God given. Don't forget God, all right? It's, it's, it's God that has instilled this in you. It shouldn't be something you look down on, therefore. It's something you should always be proud of. And the more you nurture it, the more better it becomes. It's like it's important to take care of your emotional stability because when you do that, you're always going to be at your best because of what you can do, what you possess, all right? Your capability, your ability, your gift. Let's tap in further to the layers of this energy. All right, let's go deeper. But you make them feel it. You have that impact. It's deep, all right? 
is very deep here and it's what God given. So it's a power, all right, your power. We have the lovers here. Hmm. This speaks of, in this regard, the love that people have for you. We have the four voices. The love that people have for you, it festers, it grows, okay? Um, it deepens every time. It's like every time someone experiences your energy, they feel deeply for you each time. It's like it unravels itself, all right? Your energy has that capability where you are unable to unravel things and unravel people. And you are able to get um, gain people's trust easily because the energy that you possess, because of your connection to the water element, it, it exudes the aura of someone that is very welcoming. Like you're free to be yourself. You're free to come as you are. I'm never going to be the one to judge you for your identity. This is what people feel when they're around you. They feel free. They feel seen. They feel understood and that's a beautiful thing beloved here that I spoke about you can be your own psychiatrist your own shrink it's, it's it has its, its dark side where it's like you can connect with people and then they can become so obsess obsessively attached that it can also be dangerous but if you look at it in the light you should see that the reason that the individual would even be obsessively attached to begin with is because of the aura, the energy you stand in and exude, the vibration that you're in, your connection with the water element, all right? It's like it's beautiful, beloved. No matter how you flip it, even if it comes with what it comes with, it's very beautiful. You are loved, like you're truly loved. You have the ability, the capability, the gift to make people understand themselves in a way that they have never even thought or approached life in. And that's something that you can't buy. That's something that you can't manipulate into people. It's something you already possess within you. It is who you are. So there's certain layers of your life that You've yet to understand when it comes to this gift, this ability, this cap this capability, all right? It's like a journey of life where God is going to unravel things in such a way that you see who you are for what you are, all right? And it's all based on your connection with water, how you're able to deepen circumstances, deepen people, how you're able to tap people in in a way that they've never been tapped in before. It's like something you've been chosen to do in this lifetime that you're living in. It's something that you've been chosen to be on, all right? There's so much water here, like so much water, so much depth, like all depth here. We have the Ten of Emotions, the Ten of Cups, we have the High Priestess, all right? The Priestess here, and then we have the Six of Wands. It's like no one else can activate this and enable this in people. It's not like everyone has this impact in people's lives or it's something that you can compare. There's no comparison to this. There's no, it's like unrivaled depth. Okay, this is unrivaled depth. And it's again, God given where the impact, the role, the importance that you have in people's lives is very deep, beloved. It's something that, as we've established, you get to really understand. It's like when, when, when you are in a person's life, you are able to change it. And that's not a, that's something, that's power, you know, beloved, that's, that's power. And so the power that you exude, the power that you have and hold, and the power you possess is God given. And God is saying, Congratulations, that you, you, you never sought out 
validation. You just believed in yourself and you were who you were. You didn't channel this capability, this gift, this ability in a negative likeness. You nurtured it by being a good person and standing in a good vibration. And that's why this connection you have with the water elements is going to work in your favor. It's going to feed you spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically. And also it's going to what? It's going to feed those around you as well. You have the power to collectively change people's lives. Like you are not just anybody, beloved. When people are in your life, they know that it's you that is different. They know that it's you that can do for them what they can even do for themselves. And this is all based on emotions here. An example, a reference point, a case study, an analogy is like, imagine us as human beings, the amount of anxiety we face. Like, we as people, we face just an exorbitant amount of anxiety. It's almost unrealistic. But unfortunately, it's the world that we have. It's like, you know. So it's sort of like the anxiety that people feel, that's all emotion, right? That's all based on festering emotions that are what's overwhelming, but they're emotions nonetheless. So this is to say that emotions are universally based. Everyone has them, all right? So you can touch anyone's soul. You can be anyone's, um, you can change anyone's life, all right? You can heal anyone here. You can heal people's hearts, minds, you can untangle knots within them that they've been so hard on themselves about, like holding on to things like, yeah, I deserve this, I, I, I'm a bad person, yeah. This. And you, your words, you know, you are able to bring them out of that position. You are able to put them in a different predicament with your words. But it's not just words, it's the layers that you understand how to speak. All right, because you understand emotions. You don't just speak, all right? It's not just tarot. You know, I have to connect with you guys. I have to understand your energy, and I have to align myself with it. And that is the gift, all right? The ability, the capability. And to possess it yourself, beloved, it means that there is a role that is important that you're playing in your world and your reality. Don't ever underestimate the role the importance that you're, the impact here. You don't need to have this amount of money in your bank accounts for you to possess this ability, capability, this gift. You just have it naturally. And this is something that no one can take away from you. No one can try to taint it, you know. And because you have been in good energy, good spirit, good heart, good mind, you are nurturing it in you all right because it can also be a negative thing if you weren't a good person it would have what it would have worked against you but because you nurtured it by being a good person on earth it is working in your favor you have this unrivaled gift to you that even if you were to exit a person's life they will never forget you they will never forget you for what you made them feel for how you you know, how you make them feel. So you are someone important, beloved. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever downplay yourself because of what anxiety or uh, negative thoughts, impo uh, imposter syndrome, you know, all those things that take you away from the depth, you know, that you're supposed to be in, the, the, the energy you're supposed to be in. All those things that take you away from that, don't allow them to shake or break or make you. You should allow yourself to go through things like a normal human being and allow yourself to heal and evolve from things like a normal human being. Don't put so much on yourself, beloved. You are only just a human being at the end of the day. We are going through this life thing together, taking it one day at a time. And however way our life goes, the pace, and things of that nature. That's God's doing, it's in God's hands. The role that we can play is just to do good so that we can attract good and pull in good for ourselves. 
And once we are in that energy, we are untouchable because what? We are of the light. In the darkness, you can die, you can be touched, you can be hurt. But in the light, you are seen, you are heard, you are loved. All right? The more you choose the lover's energy to stay in it and be in it and not see past it, even with the negativity externally of you, choosing different will always enable different for you. You will always call in different, therefore. You will bring forth a level of justice to your life that will execute things in such a way that there is favor to your destiny, all right, to your future, to your name and identity. Stick to the light, stick to the light with your gift, your ability and capability. It's going to take you places, all right? Now let's tap in further to the layers of this energy. Let's talk to God, let's go. If you're being called to open up your reality to someone who needs a helping hand, 
It's like it's you that can provide them with the perspective shift that will put them in a different place in their mind and therefore putting them in a different place in their spirit and then putting them in a different place within how they feel. Shifting someone's emotions, that's powerful because a lot of people are feeling pain right now. A lot of people's mental ain't right, their heart ain't right, their spirit ain't right, and we need as much healing as possible. So spewing hate is not necessary, all right? We all need to align ourselves to a high vibration. And to do so, we need to look at things from an advanced perspective, a grand design perspective, always, regardless of the temporary things that might make us feel low vibrational emotions, think low vibrational thoughts. We must always, at the end, always know it'll pass and we are going to move forward in a better way. There's high vibrational activity awaiting me. I don't need to stay in the low vibrational activity. There's always better at the end of the tunnel, all right? We have the hermit. It's like, beloved, you need to spread your wisdom here. God is calling you to spread your wisdom. Don't be afraid to speak. Don't be afraid to step into the power of enabling people to understand what they think they understand. You know, don't be in a, a position where you feel like you, you, don't, you can't use your voice. A voice that God has instilled and bestowed you with. All right, God wants you to share. Share what you know. Share your energy with others because your identity has the capability the um, gift and the ability to heal. And you are beautiful, you are a beautiful being. And you are only a human being at the end of the day, so take it easy on yourself, one day at a time, all right? A prayer a day keeps the devil away. I'm being called to end your message here. This was your message from God, the big G-O-D, the biggest lotto. If you are keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. I'm sending you nothing but love, healing, and evolution. Once again, stay prayed up in these dangerous times of envy and jealousy. I will see you tomorrow on the Prophetic Vessel Show. Goodbye.